What's up people, how are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And I've got some really good content for you folks today. I basically uh, not only have a fix for the latest iCloud bypass for the latest uh, bridge operating system 8.0 and 8.1, but there is two very important things I need to point out. As well, not only does it work on the latest bridge 8, 8.1, it actually works on the latest macOS Ventura and macOS Sonoma. Yes, it does. But there is two major things I need to point out where a lot of people have been stuck in a certain situation regarding the iCloud activation lock, specifically on MacBooks. And this, this method is for T2 Macs only. Now, the first one is, so basically, I don't know if you've seen my previous video on uh, the T2 iCloud bypass for MacBooks. But in that video, I show you how to do it. And basically, you press the power button and you hold Command and R and it goes you know, to the macOS recovery after doing the bypass. And basically, in that video, it's fully untethered, so it goes all the way. Now, with this one here, when you go through the setup, so, for example, the first thing you've got to do, right, is to update your bridge operating system on your Mac computer, right? So, what you need to do for that is basically you want to download Apple Configurator. Download this on your host Mac. Uh, connect the target Mac and the host Mac together, both in DFU mode, and do the restore on the target Mac, bringing it to the latest bridge operating system, which is currently bridge 8.1, has just been released. Secondly, what you wanna do is, once you open up Checkmate, and you basically, you go through the payments, and you purchase the bypass, be sure to use my promo code iCloudHelper029, that's all one word, to get 10 to 15% off your purchase. Now, once you've done the bypass and it basically checkmates T2, say on the T2 app, it actually says, uh, bypass uh, successful in green, you're good to go, right? So then what you do is you press, when you press the power button, instead of holding down command and R, you want to hold down command, options, and R. Those three keys at exactly the same time, okay? It'll go into the internet recovery, of course, put in your Wi-Fi credentials and basically wait until it gets to the Mac OS. And when it does get to the Mac OS, go on to the disk utility, uh, select the main solid state drive at the top and erase it, erase that partition like I show you in my previous video. So when you've done that, and then you click install on say macOS Ventura or macOS Sonoma or e even an earlier macOS. But this method is for the latest macOS Ventura and macOS Sonoma, okay? So once you've installed it, instead of it going to the hello screen, it actually still comes to the activation lock. And a lot of people, I've had a lot of questions, a lot of messages, you know, from people asking, why is it going to the activation lock? What is going on? 
And this is the number one priority that I need to bring to your attention to show you exactly how to fix this. So you've basically, you've restored it through Apple Configurator. You've then downloaded uh, the Mac T2 from Checkmate's website. I'll leave a link for the download in the description below my video. You've then proceeded with the bypass. You've installed Mac OS, whether it's Ventura, Sonoma, whatever, and you've got to the activation lock. And you're stuck because you don't know how to go any further. And you basically, you connect it back up to here, you do the bypass again, and I'll show you exactly what happens. So for example, let's put this in a DFU state. So, right, you put this back into DFU, power, shift, option, control, okay? It's really important, this step, because a lot of people, they get to this step and they don't know what to do next. Well, I'm going to show you exactly what to do next. If the exploit fails by here with a red line, don't panic because that's what's about to happen to me now. I know because it hasn't said stage one or stage two. What I'm doing, what I'm showing you here is really important, right? So the exploit has failed, not a problem. Simply close it. Open it back up. Let's put it back in DFU, shall we? All right, we're good. Stage one, stage two, and then click the bypass, All right? So I've gone through all the steps and I've just recited to you, okay? Brilliant. Um, so start, bypass in process. And of course, your device has been successfully bypassed. Yeah, of course it have. Because you've already done that in the first step. And you've installed it and you're wondering why it's going back to the activation lock. Now, for example, you power it on and press Command and R or Command Options and R um, or even Power, right? Now you hear the chime, okay? And you think, yes, I've just done the bypass. I've installed the Mac OS, so it should be working, right? Wrong. And I'm about to show you what you need to do at this specific stage. That's why it's important for me to get this video out there. So I've had a lot of questions by people and, you know, they, like, they get to the activation lock and they're stuck. They don't know what to do next. They don't know where to go next. Their heads are spinning. Understandably so. Because you're going to see now yourself. So not only have I done the bypass and the installation, I've now connected it back up to do the bypass again. And you're going to see for yourself right now exactly what I mean. And this, this be year, this is just problem number one. There's two problems I need to point out, okay? So you know what to do. Once this is done, they're fixed and they are ready for you, okay?
will show you exactly what I mean right now. A lot of people are stuck on this stage. They don't know what to do. But this content is going to help you. You know, it will fix it fully. See, so after everything, after the installation, after everything, and doing the bypass again, after I've already done it, yet again, meted and greeted with this. Now, <clears throat> this is the fix for how to fix, to basically get your Mac up and running and not have any problems whatsoever this is what you've got to do okay so basically once you're done with the installation and everything and you get this far right connect it to your host mac open up checkmate t2 yeah make sure you got a usb-c to usb-c data sync cable uh, and again, DFU, control option, power and shift at the same time. Stage one. Stage two. Right, so as you can see, product version 8.1. So this is currently on the latest Bridge OS 8.1, which was released a couple of days ago. So once again, start. As you can see, success, success, success. So Here's the fix. When you get to this stage, this is the fix. Power, hold down the option key. There it is. There's your fix right there, which too many people have been stuck on. Too many people have been stuck on this specific part of the bypass and you know they're contacting checkmate and checkmate are like well you know have you done this have you done that yeah 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 and you know you end up getting a refund because it's not working for you and you're like damn it's not working because you didn't do it properly you didn't do the steps correctly but granted <laughs> You know, it's not exactly straightforward, is it? You know, if it was, then most of you would have worked this out, figured this out ages ago. Look, keyboard's lit up. Now, as this touch bar, the touch bar's lit up. And where are we? Right here. Look at that. This is where we are. This is where you're supposed to be. a sec just punching my um wi-fi credentials
This is the main problem. So now you know problem one is fixed. There we go, data and privacy. And this is it. This is for bridge, the latest bridge operating system. And to think that it works on Ventura and Sonoma is great. It's an absolute great feature. As you can see, I'm using Sonoma. But to get, to get Ventura or Sonoma, when you start at the beginning and you do the bypass, when you press uh, to enter into the Mac OS recovery, don't just press Command and R, press Command Options and R those three at the same time because that brings up the latest operating system whereas command and r will bring up an older operating system see what i mean so like for example full name we could either put admin or user so let's just go admin and then let's do a password so let's just one two three four and confirm that as one, two, three, four, and then let's continue. So this is problem one sorted, okay? Now you know how to do this. And then I'm gonna move on to the problem two, where basically you have to, which is the hard reboot problem. set that up later switch to auto continue and there we are bingo mac os sonoma right there so that that's your first problem out of the way for the checkmate bypass on the latest bridge operating system okay now the other thing i need to point out you can do anything you want on here now bar one thing okay there's one thing you can't do like so for example say um you finish doing your work okay select the apple logo right and scroll down and you want to select shut down and simply select, confirm that by shutting it down. I doubt that'll look like that on yours. <laughs> so don't panic too much about that bit. So now, close it, right? And then basically, when you pull it out to use it again, you basically simply lift it like that and doom. you hear that chime you're in so even though it's all working and you can do anything on you you can sign into iCloud use all the apps as if you just bought it from the shop but there is one thing I need to point out to you that you cannot do Okay, and it's very important that I point this uh, this thing out to you. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I used as the admin password. Enter. Right. So there we go. You are in. You are good. Okay. But there is one thing you don't want to do. If you do this, it's fine. There's a simple solution to it, but 
my advice would be do not do this okay and that's the one thing you don't do is basically hold down the power button to shut it off don't ever shut it off by holding down the power button like that why well you're about to find out now You watch the Apple logo come up and there won't be no chime in the background. See? See what I mean? And it gets worse. Look at where it goes to. But it also gets interesting. See, so if you shut it down by holding down the power key, you'll have this problem. So the best thing to do is not shut it down by holding down the power key. Okay, see, you meet it and greet it with the activation lock. Now, of course, you're the admin. You know your password, right? You just set it up. Of course you did. Sure, sure you did, right? One, two, three, four, enter. I mean, you've done the bypass. It's your MacBook. You're in your account, right? Yet you meet it and greet it with this. But don't panic. Don't panic. <clears throat> Obviously, avoid at all costs by holding down that power button. But as long as you have a host Mac, yeah, to hand then you're good okay I'll show you now right so when this happens simply just same thing again uh, Mac T2 checkmate so power shift option control same time Let go. When you see the wheel spinning, let go. Let's hope it goes to stage one and doesn't fail. If it does fail, don't panic. Yeah, the exploit's gonna fail. Doesn't matter. We'll just close it and reopen it again. But this is why I'm pointing out, if you're gonna avoid pressing, if you can avoid turning your computer off by pressing the power button, just either lo uh, log off or go to uh, shut down top left of the Apple logo. So the exploit's going to fail in with the red bar. Okay. So it's no problem. Close it, reopen it. And let's do it again. DFU. And you'll only have to do this bit, problem number two. If you hold down the power key. Yeah, sorry, yeah, if you shut it off by holding down the power key. Here we go, stage one. Stage two. Excellent, perfecto. Click start. And at this stage, all you've got to do, press power, just power. is back from the shadows to the light so if you had any work on there if you had loads of work on there and then you powered it off doesn't matter because you do the bypass even though it goes to the activation lock 
you do the bypass like I just showed you and all your work is saved is saved right there on your computer you haven't lost anything so they're the two major problems I had to point out folks okay I had to do this video a lot of people are, are having problems with it now you know what to do you can therefore do it be sure to smash that like if you if you think this video has helped you folks be sure to subscribe i got plenty of content on you and plenty more content to come be sure to use my promo uh, sorry my promo code icloud helper 029 for 10 to 15 percent off your um uh, purchases whether it's iCloud bypass iOS uh, yeah, for Mac Mac OS sorry um, iOS uh, watch OS anything EFI firmware lock removals whatever yeah you are good to go thank you people this is Mark the iCloud helper coming to you from Cardiff City bye for now people bye for now